And it should be working now. Okay. Process 90 seconds delay. Gonna start walk of three. Yes, thank you. Um, I don't need this right now. This one, not really either. Okay. 50 seconds. I need to check out the grid though. Uh, what was the website again? I have no freaking clue. Okay, I might be able to find it. Um, what? Oh yeah. Lost Travers is friends. I got it. Nice. Commands. Edit. Grid. Okay. Nice. What is the title? Nice. It's working. Alright, <clears throat> should be good, should be live. Is it though? Is it live? I suppose it's gonna be soon.
after the Shrikrain win, they will be on second place. I think Ukraine is second place no matter what. Uh, I think they're already second place. They have more points. Even if they uh, if they lose, they are they are they're still ahead. I think it doesn't matter. They're already top two. I think. Preserved. I'm pretty sure. Sacre bleu. <laughs> I'm doing well. Past side. <laughs> it's good that streaming lets you time travel and be good at Rock Rock of Three Cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> time travel, huh? NP for me, easy. All right, all right, up to you. I'm gonna share for two nations. I've been red, white, blue. Nice. Yo, yo, Gavnar, what's up? Welcome, guys. I, as a reminder, there's still uh, 90 seconds delay. So, oh, but we might have the lineups now. Here we go. So we have Don Senilo versus Sed, Francis versus Todd, and Maniac versus Crab. And yeah, and the 2v2 is Don Celino, Francis versus Crab and Todd. The first game is gonna be Todd versus Francis, and I think then it's the two on two, two on two, and then Sed and then Crab. I think I am not playing because uh, I'm not playing because I thought there were too many orcs in their uh, in their lineup and. I think it's nice to rotate a bit. Also, I'm not in a great shape. Especially versus Orc, so... Uh, yeah. It's okay, though. What's up, Manic? I mean, friendly side easy, <laughs> are you? <laughs> if I knew there were two, two humans, I, I might have said I could play. But anyway, I would never play on Amazonia. Because fuck this map, uh, maybe I, I would have played on Northern Isles, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I could play on the Ace match, but actually, you have to input the Ace match before the match. So, it's already decided who plays, and that might be me, maybe not, maybe yes. But I don't think we're gonna need it, no offense, of course, to Aus Austria. But, we should be winning, hopefully. Yo, Duels, yo, Captain Mantel. <laughs> Thank you. I am not playing, as you might find out in a few seconds, but... <laughs> you guys just need some stars on yours, on our flag? <laughs> uh, wait, I'm gonna Google French flag... Flag? Not flag. Flag with stars. <laughs> oh, there's only one. Well, yeah, well, that's kind of an ID. It's not quite there yet, but... Right? Of Arcadia? Okay. <laughs> okay, this one, uh, okay, dude. See, there's plenty of stars. This is like, uh, this looks like a doormat. The thing you put in front of your door, and you step on it, with your dirty shoes. Anywho. Alright. Good luck, bro. Monk again. Thank you, thank you. I'm just waiting for a game name. Uh, I asked for a game name, but not sure. I feel like the the organization for this is Clan War. Sometimes it could be improved. Yeah, I don't play today. Yes, I don't play because yeah, I'm not too confident. Yo, butter bread how are you doing? Side L.
Who's Crab versus Crab is playing versus Maniac. So what's the game name? Okay, there's a game name actually. We have like a private conversation. Okay, Todo state, that's why. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> you made us proud and looks nice, I don't know. <laughs> you made us proud during your great run yesterday at the WGL Coffee here. Deserved some rest. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Merci, mec. Yeah, yesterday, after the first two matches, even though I beat Sonic and I lost 2 0 to Orc, I was, I was pretty let down. Especially, I mean, you would know if you were, you were on Discord, my Discord, because yeah, that was definitely like in the emo states. But I, like, I had, I had lunch, I, I took a shower and then I beat Stranic pretty convincingly. That was cool. I was not really afraid of him, but I know he's really good versus Undead, so... And he just beat Krav before, like 2-1, so I was like, mm, you know, maybe I don't want to lose. And I don't expect to lose, but I have to take him seriously, and I did. I won 0 pretty nicely. But I think he was, he was playing another tournament at the same time, so I'm sure he... I don't think he played his best. To be fair, neither did Sonic. And then I played versus Foggy, and I feel like the game versus Oak and Sonic, I mean, in Foggy, I feel like I could have definitely played better in those two best of three. So I'm I'm not too disappointed because making top four is, is nice, right? But yeah. Of course, yeah, making top four in, in such competition for me is, is definitely decent, but. I at least I learn. I mean, I I really feel like I need to improve my um, my statue control was definitely pretty weak that uh, that tournament. I've rewatched the VOD from Back to Warcraft and yeah, that that was kind of rough, kind of painful to watch. Of course, when I'm playing, I'm I'm just in the heat of the moment, and sometimes I I tend to not see things. And when you're observing, it's of course way easier, but nonetheless, definitely could have played better. But anywho, I'm gonna start with a 2-2. Two two. No, the first match is Todd. Todd is playing. Bonjour, je suis un baguette. Bonjour, Rino. Actually, I realized I call you Rino because in France, in French, we say Rino, c'est Ross, but it's actually Rhino in English. <gasps> is Ace match a tiebreaker? Yeah, it is. Uh, Pro to 2. Just using me, but I don't know this maniac. Kravis versus. Yeah, a maniac, maniac, I think it's pretty decent. Yo, bro, what's up? What do you think about the team of Krav and Todd? Um, they, they've been looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, actually, I think they are looking pretty, pretty damn good. I think they have like a pretty decent uh, synergy, synergy together. Like they, they match each other pretty well. So, I'm... Wait, did I hear it? get to France? Oh yeah, okay. I'm already there. Yeah, yeah I really like Todd. Uh, Todd Crab, I think that's a great 2v2 team. Definitely. Alright, we're about to start. So there's 90 seconds, so... If I take time to answer, it's not because I'm rude. Even though I might be, but... It's because of the delay. Alright. We're about to start. I should probably remove the music when we start. So it's a more professional cast. <laughs> I think this is the wrong way, but I have to shake my head a bit and laugh when you get like that. Like this guy is so... <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. And I, I don't, I don't take it the wrong way. Definitely, uh, and I, I mean, I realize it myself. I'm. It feels a bit stupid at times what I'm, I'm doing when I'm losing. But yeah, yeah. As I said, I. I have too high expectations of myself, even though I don't put the amount of hours to, to expect myself to do good. I know it's weird, but. Somehow that's how it is. But enough of me. This is about 
W3 National League. This is the last last match for France playing versus Austria, and that's the first game we have on the top left as a red orc from Austria. France is an expert at 2v2 and 4v4. We'll see if he does well in solo as well. He's playing versus the legend, aka Todd, aka Johan Merlo. And let's see how it goes. E3 Naz. Ah, U3 Naz? Actually, Naz's pronunci name pronunciation in, in French sounds like Naz, but Naz is, is definitely not a compliment. When you say something is, is Naz, it, it basically it sucks. But Naz doesn't suck, except when he's, on, he's using Zeppelins. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, 90 seconds, yes, yes. Shouldn't Todd be on 90 seconds delay on this stream? Yes, you should. That's in the... I mean, that's in the rules of the... Of the the league, basically. I mean, uh, before... Uh, that's the first time I'm streaming uh, this, this league. So I checked the rulebook. It says 90 seconds streaming. I mean, 90 seconds delay, if you want to stream. Oh, okay. And here we are, even though I ate delay. That usually, if, if I had to input delay on my stream, I, I don't really stream because it, I find it kind of annoying even though it makes sense but uh what well, whatever you'll say broadcast yeah I wasn't too far but yeah I should have played better I could have played better and hopefully next time I will play better <laughs> oh several cast uh hello I think on map like there and then when you play against native you can always be Necropolises in place where and Night Elf wants to be the third basis. The Night Elf has to spend a lot of time taking it out and you can CP to save it if you need. Yeah, I mean I did uh, against Foggy put a Necropolis here. I didn't do afterwards because the game was kind of crazy and I, I couldn't spare that much gold but it, it's a good point. Yeah, Samuel okay, thank you. Alright. Ooh, Shine Lighting first. That Grunt is, is not having a good time. Okay. You could dispel the light. Yeah, he's dispelling the scroll of speed. Is he gonna get the grunt? The Todd? Uh, he doesn't want to lose the the priest, but I think he might lose the priest anyway. So, oh yeah, wow. It's a lot of mana spent, but this grunt should be safe. And on the other end, turn also, also crept that camp. Scroll of the Beast is not the best item. Mental of Intelligence is good though. Here we also had a Mental of Intelligence and a Potion of Invulnerability. Tier 2 is coming. Second and third bureau for Frenzies. Farseer is gonna go and try to harass. I believe Todd is gonna fast expand. He already has four farms. As you can see, he's at 36 supply, and we see the five militia going towards the expand. Who's gonna get? Is he gonna try to snatch the berserker? Nope, he's not. I mean, he's supply block anyway, so. Of course, I should have known. Yo, yo, Krav. Comment ça va? Bonne chance aujourd'hui, mec. Yeah, Todd is, is ahead. I don't think he has stream delay. Maybe I should remove stream delay. I mean, if, if Todd doesn't have one, but... I don't know. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I made I, I put delay because... First, because it's in the rules. And second, because I felt like... I mean, I know Austria is never gonna cheat, but... Just, you know... Maybe my, my mates would prefer... If there's delay, because... Just because, you know, just to be safe. You know, it, sometimes it's... Sometimes you don't want to cheat, but someone could whisper you about what your opponent doing. I it had happened to me before actually. Like I was playing, I don't know, in a tournament that was like I don't know, maybe ten years ago. I was playing with some guy, and I think the game was streamed. Was it though? Yeah, maybe it was more recent though because I don't remember streamings back then. But anyway, I do remember some some day. I'm not sure when. I was playing a game and some guy like whispered me about about what my opponent was doing. Like holy fuck! Shut the fuck up! I had to do like D&D, &D, do not disturb, but anyway. That that's kind of uh annoying. That's why putting delay makes sense. Even if your opponents are not cheating, sometimes random people might cheat. For well, no good damn good reason. We have a ring plus four on the ground, Todd. I know you don't like rings, but come on. <laughs> Shouldn't you pick it? Is this like a is this a way of, of Todd to, to complain about the rings? He's not gonna pick them up anymore? Okay, we go. Never mind, we have a lumber mill. What about tier 2? Ooh, is that a panda? 
Nope. Okay. Never mind. I think he thought about going Panda, but wait. He made a TC, then he cancelled the TC. What's happening? And now he's going... Oh, he lost the grand. This is going pretty bad for Frenzy's here. I think he's gonna get a Panda. Is he? Oh my god. A player's forces what? Are under attack. So in this sense, if... Yo, yo, Kuba, what's up? Ooh, Chris gets killed by Frenzies. He might get the second one, but he's taking a lot of damage. He doesn't have any healing on him right this second. Oh, actually, he might have to TP. That's a second chain lightning for... I mean, yeah, killing a priest is nice, but... How do you heal now? The shop is here. He's on the right. Don't knows where the shop is. He's not gonna let him live. Oh, oh. He could hit him. 30 HP. 4 HP. Woo -hoo. And... Okay, he made a TC now. He's going mass air. Pretty obvious, I suppose. Please and Todd already has a Lama Mill, so he can make God Tower. Todd is smartly sending just one footman to oh, know the position see. of the Farseer. And at the same time, he's just gonna kill the shop. Maybe grab uh, more more mercenaries. Oh, Francis is TPing here. Staffing here. Oh, he used the invul. Did he buy? Okay. That was, that was actually pretty well done. I had to spend the greater invul, but yeah. Better late than never, I suppose. Todd bo also bought the, the auto berserker. So that two berserkers. I oh, actually cancelled the wind rider and now he's going mass raider. Interesting. A player's forces are under attack. Stomp. Skull of the Beast used by Todd. Right clicking on the far series, doing a lot of damage. Uh he might kill the raider as well. Easy though, 17 HP, no, escapes, gonna heal, but there's not too much left for our frenzies. Does he have PH? I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> not easy for that by my sweeps? Ah, yeah, that's the way to go. This is the way. Yeah, but this is, this is very nice for Todd, because obviously he has an expand running. He's already halfway, even more than halfway on to his tier 2, so... Looking pretty good. He lost a few mercenaries, but it's not like he, it's fine, but it's not the end of the world. Especially if he's trading for units. Oh, well, he got that one. Might get another one. Nope. TC is in trouble. There's no shop anymore. There's one right there on the right. Pretty low HP. Akmej might get focused now. He could have surrounded. Actually, there's a staff, so a surround wouldn't be too useful. We have a low HP raider here, being chased by a footman. The Akmage most likely will have to TP before he dies. TP now, maybe? Okay, yep. Well done. TC has uh, 40 HP, but he's gonna survive. But once again, we don't have a shop. We do have two healing salves. He could... If he attacks him? Okay. Oh, man. Doesn't really matter. Thought he's making a, a shop himself. He's about to be tier 2. Nice. Is this GG? Well, yeah, the early game looks pretty fantastic for Todd, of course. I wouldn't say it's GG yet, but looks pretty damn good. Uh, so tier 3 is coming for Frenzies. Oh, he lost a Raider to Crips. It's a bit of a yax here for him. The creeping has been pretty tough. Wing of Regen is actually... Ah, uh, he has to reach it, retreat from the Crip. That's, that's never a good thing. He has a Wing of Regen, which is probably the best item he could have found right this second, even though you kind of want a Panel Financial. Look at Todd already rolling off. In case there is like a mass raiders, he's like kind of blocking the surface area uh, on his tunnel so it doesn't get killed too easily. Mass foundry would be amazing too, and what does he do? He cancels it as soon as I talk about it. Is it a triple I can sing them? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Interesting. Finally, TC finishes that camp. We have one wind rider. That's it. One meal on the way as well. Finally, he's healing, he's healing himself up, but that took a while. Oh my god. That's minus 33 gold, and it's gonna take so long. Plus, every time a wolf gets killed, you have to be careful that the other... Oh, well, yeah. I think this one got cancelled too, maybe. Anywho, MK is out. Bezel, Bezel Bloodstone. Walling off. More guard towers. 
Sorceress Priest update. Uh, uh, Todd is not breaking up uh, upkeep yet. He might buy a Shredder. Actually, how many peasants do we have? Four, five, six, eight, nine. I think nine, ten. He's actually has he has ten. Ten peasant at lumber. I don't think he needs to buy a Shredder. All right, what is Francis doing? He's about to be level three on TC. Hmm. Does killing an opponent's mercenary gives extra XP compared to the level of the mercenary? Um, nah, I'm actually, I have no idea. I'm kind of clueless about Warcraft 3. Sometimes. Alright, we have a fight. 53 versus 42. Big Stomp, level 2. Sorceress is about to fall, but... Oh! Wait, the Sorceress is killing the barrel! <laughs> anyway, the Wind Rider falls. We have Clap. We have Lightning Shield also on the on the, um, the MK. Sure, the footmans are in trouble. Not having their best time, but... In pretty strong for You could cancel the Clarity Potion here. That would be minus 70. Oh, this pulls. And gets the Raider. Nice. So yeah, lots of kill. Even if Todd were to lose his footman, he, he doesn't care that much. That's a need rule on the MK, so... It's unlikely that he's gonna fall. Wait, did he? Okay, Lightning Shield, this time from Francis. On the TC and the TC. 7 HP, escapes. Oh, nice blocks. Oh my god, Francis lost, lost everything. Todd is at 51, that's not ideal, but I'm sure he's gonna make more units in a second. 34 supply, we have Shamans coming, we have Kodo. Kodo, at least one. Plus the, the upgrade. He's looking pretty good for... For Todd, who's about to make one, two, three, four, five spellbreakers. He did research masonry in the end, but probably not gonna be too useful. Pocket expand for Francis. That's kind of the only way he can come back into that game, and I'm sure Todd knows. Todd for found another scroll of the beast. Not the best item luck to be fair. Uh rings, press four, boots of Keltalas, but. Fortunately, it does not matter. He bought another Troll Berserker and he's about to end this man's career. Francis. Actually. A player's forces are under attack. Let me know if the music is too loud. Pretty please. It might be. Alright. 36 versus 68. I don't want to call it too early, but it seems pretty tough for the Orc player here. It's gonna hit a berserk, uh, Spellbreaker. But, um, uh, looks pretty rough. Stomp on the TC was about to stomp. 63, 30 HP on the TC. Scroll of healing, I believe. But is that gonna be enough? No, it's turn of the farce here to be in trouble. Big clap. Is it clap level 2? It is not. GG will play it. It's Cold. I might be a bit loud the music. Let me fix that. Well, that's definitely way too loud. I have to add a few a comment. Wait, I think I do, do, didn't have a comment. I need to do a few things. I forgot. I read the rules, but maybe I didn't read everything. Anyway, I'm gonna fix it. So let me see. Nightbot. I have workshop. I don't know. Uh, okay, so crowdfunding, maturino, I think I had the maturino one, but is it the correct one? That's 
maybe not. Yeah, it is. It is actually already at the command. It's just not in my title. Okay, I'm gonna edit the title. Really well played by Todd, nonetheless. That's my dashboard. Here it is. Looking pretty good so far, but I mean, Todd winning was bouncing people like at doubt. Much sure we know. Was that the command? I forgot. <gasps> oh my god. Match Reno. Yes, that's the one. Speaking of comment, I made a new one with Davai. Davai, Davai. I mean, I'm not gonna change my, my delay just because Todd has less. And I'm not gonna <laughs> ask him to change either, like it's up to him. Uh, I just know it's in the rules, so I'm gonna follow the rules for now, unless an admin, an admin tells me it's unnecessary. And I have to do something else too, that I've never did before, so I'm not sure. I have to embed the Macharino overlay, okay. Mm. Okay, let me see how it goes. I don't have uh... uh... The thing is, the explanation is for, not for the software I'm using, because that's always kind of annoying. You know, when you have a tutorial, but it's not what you're using. Um, okay, maybe I can I can look at it here so I don't miss the game. Okay, we do have a game name actually. I'm still gonna try to do it now. But it's a bit annoying. How about the music, by the way? Is it fine? No? You cannot hear it anymore, but I hope it's fine. Die. <laughs> so the brand new Macherino CLR is a fully custom of the blah 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 That's a browser source, okay. So I'm gonna add a new thing, browser source okay add add the new one i'm gonna call it um well n w3 l well w3 n l n l yeah that's better third one oh here we go i have to input this one now okay Okay, it looks fine. If I need to replace it, but I, I think it's a bit too small. Is it better? Can you guys see it? Yes, I think. Maybe you can even click on it. I'm not exactly sure. But I should be fine. Right. All right. Let me update the score because I'm a good caster. Kappa. So we have the 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 link for Macharino as well. If you do Macharino, Macharino, you get sent to the Macharino page of Warcraft 3 Nations Leagues. And if you look at my profile, actually on Warcraft 3 Champions, I do have a nice 
panda face icon. It's because I gave some money to well, to this league. So if you guys are interested in getting some cool icons, you can also give money to them. Even if you don't want icons, you can still give money to them. That would be nice. Yo, thank you, Solag. Thank you. I did alright, I suppose. Thanks. Maybe next time better. Alright, but anywho. What do we have? Francis is going for faster, fast tech. No barracks. No shop. Just some good old fast shit too. It's pretty interesting. He sent a peon here. You know, to steal the priest if in case like uh, Todd were to creep the American camp, I suppose. But if we look at the altar position, which is at the top right now, he's probably going to go for the green first. And never mind, as I said, that... I always thought, like, why would you just put your altar, like, closest to the creep camp? But nope, actually, Francis stole the, the priest, but Todd is actually going for the little green spot. And he saw that his opponent stole the priest, so now he's gonna harass it instantly. Todd also scouted that there's a fast tech. Here comes the Farsi harass. We have a water elemental in the base, sparks. Because he doesn't want his opponent to detonate it, that's why. And here we go. One peasant is pretty low, but you should be able to save him. Yep, so far so good. Here comes the priest, ready to dispool, and he does. That's 42 XP. Which is pretty, which is quite a lot, it's more than a footman, I believe a footman is 40. Water motor is 42. We have a, a footman here. Not sure why. Maybe he's gonna try to get some mercs as well. He just moved, I believe, but I'm not quite sure what he's trying to do. Anyway, Todd is taking, he's making a tower. More footmen. He hasn't lost anything. He has a low HP peasant, but as you can see, he sent him to the gold mine. That way, it's kind of safer compared to the lumber harvesting peasants because he goes into the gold mine from time to time. Which is pretty cool. And Todd did indeed buy the priest. He might lose the footman for it though. Nope, he's not. He's not. What do we have here? We get it. I mean, Francis. Francis is gonna cancel the tower actually. Todd didn't dare repair. He's not gonna surround either. So that was a good move by Francis here. Cancelling the tower. Of course, it's not the end of the war, but it's really annoying. And he might get a peasant. Or is he? I think he is. Yep. Got a peasant as well. Oh! Almost got the kill on the priest. Actually, the priest is gonna kill the priest. Damn. Dispels the two wolves and gets level 2. Very nice for Todd here. A very nice level 2 because Dark Mage, when you're only level 1, water mentals are super expensive. Uh, mana wise, like 125. So having Aura Regen is definitely welcomed. Todd is making his level meal. His tower should be able to, to complete this time. <laughs> Yo and Sage, what's up? Welcome. This is again is coming. We have a spirit lodge, so it looks like a more standard kind of game from Frenzies, at least. That's a low HP wolf though right there. He's just gonna kill it with Lumberjack. Peasants, very nice. Wolf is... how much is a wolf? Is it 20? I think it's 20, right? Yeah, I believe it's 20. 20 XP. Shadow Priest is probably gonna hit the deck. Or is he though? We have an Arcan Tower now. 20 HP. Heals himself. And falls anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure if um, microing the tower to not kill the wolf was a good idea versus like maybe if you attack the wolves, you wouldn't have lost the priest. I'm not sure. Like there's a there's an argument for both. Like you want XP, but I don't think losing the troll. I mean, it's always nice to keep it unless he was supply blocked and needed to lose the priest anyway. But that would suck to give XP for your opponent as well. I don't know. Doesn't matter that much. 
Don't get a claw plus six. Five, sorry, not six. He's not cheating. That I know of. And here we go. Double lock and sanctum. No rifle whatsoever. Just priest, priest, priest. Some militia in order to creep the middle. It should be pretty easy if he's not disturbed. Francis is going for a quick expand here. It's not a fast expand, but it's a pretty quick expand. I guess it's a pretty standard timing. I'm not quite sure. Here come the creeps. And the creep jack. Goes on to the Archmage right away, but we do have Priest now. That should be easier. Surround on the Yoga Magi. Well done by Todd. Should be able to get that one safely. Pick up the Tom as well. Great of mana. Damn, the item. Damn, damn. What about Frenzies? You got Flare plus 9. Decent. But it's not really about the right clicks too much, I feel. It's more about mana. For the Orc. Well, I guess it's still pretty nice on the parts here. None. Doesn't matter. We had a bolt here. MK is really close to level 2. TC is already level 3 because he's been solo creeping. We have Berserker Brute Strengths, not Berserker Strengths, which gives 100 HP to Grant, and Shaman Adept Training for Lightning Shields. And more mana, and more mana regen, I believe, as well. It's not just about the spells, but also uh, it goes from 200 to 300 mana. Which is quite a lot. Yes, it is. Alright. It's gonna solo creep the MK as well. He's probably gonna go for clap, I suppose, in that in that game. Clap level 2. Definitely a great weapon against any kind of army. Ground army, at least. Until uh, the test nut patch comes in and we finally get uh, clap to eat air. But not quite. Ring of Regen, I think it's pretty decent on MK actually. Especially because he tends to be focused a lot. And he's in the middle of everything, so having some HP regen is definitely gonna be welcomed. Alright, what do we have here? A Creepjack. TC has a lot of mana. We have a okay stomp on two units. But I guess what you want is to stomp the MK maybe and focus him. Yeah. Oh, nice uh, Shen Lightning killing the, the Ogre Magi here. The, the MK is actually in trouble. Is that a surround? Uh, it's not quite a surround. We have MK level 3 bolt onto the, the far seal. Or does the Stomp might get the MK? Yes, it does. It does kill the MK, but that was... Was it expensive though? He didn't lose anything, did he? I don't think he did. Well done. Nah, <laughs> yo, Tavi. Ah, he's been watching your replays, I suppose. Yo, yo, Dente, what's up? Yo, Listerium, comment ça va? Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Look, the, the peasant wants to mine too, but... Nope, anyway, maybe I should look at the fight. What happened here? I think the troll... Maybe Francis got it. He's gonna lose a berserker. 43 versus 48. MK is on his way. Sauce rest. So this is actually gonna expand now. He's at 50. I guess it's as good as... It's probably the best time. It's not as good as any other time. It's probably the best time to expand. I don't think he wants to uh, to break up keep too, too soon. And at this point, if your opponent doesn't expand, you can either go and kill it or expand yourself. Todd, I feel like he's, he's pretty confident in his game in general, so... He doesn't want to go for an all-in or whatsoever, maybe, you know, get his hero focused, having to TP and might lose the game. Instead, making an expense seems like a safer choice. And speaking of hero focus, we might have one here. TC has no mana though, so there's not going to be another stomp. Oh, he cannot walk here. I think he wanted to go at the top, but uh-uh. And that might be a surround, or is it though? No, it's not. Nice uh, dodge here. From the, the Archmage, who's alive. And still is, we've, we have one militia coming to the rescue. Not sure if that's going to be super helpful, but... Any help is welcome. The first Kodo is here too. We have some Shamans here. Archmage is still alive. Purge on the, the Archmage, but TC might be able to come here and save the day, or is he? Ooh, nice around, but... 
We have a clap as well. And the Archmage survived. Lots of low HP grants. We have a clap coming too. Archmage, should he TP? He's not TPing. I guess. I guess maybe TPing is, is the best choice because he could get a lot of units here. Or just one. Hmm, that's unfortunate. He's gonna buy back, I suppose. Yeah, he didn't lose anything except the Archmage and he killed at least the Grunt, a Shaman, I believe. And um, he made his opponent TP. Well, of course, Francis has an expense, so having to TP is not the end of the world and a buyback was indeed used. But that's nice because he gets Archmage instantly and uh, the mana regen is always nice. He has Brilliant Soul Ride level 2. I forgot to mention, which is apparently played a lot versus Shamans because you don't want to feed them XP. With water elementals, that's what I learned recently, and that makes a lot of sense. That doesn't broke up keep, but Francis did. He's at 57. Oh, that's gonna be a big clap. And he's gonna pick up the gloves as well. We don't have any scholar feelings for Francis, but we have for Todd. Oh, clap city. That hurts. That hurts indeed. 54 versus 55. Kolo tried to eat, but nice movement by Todd. It's looking pretty good. Yo, Swaggy Lonians, comment ça va? Usually, so Farsi tend to be low level because what happens is at the beginning of the game, you harass the Farsi with the Farsi, you don't creep. And then you're gonna solo creep TC because you want TC level 3 faster than Archmage level up. It's all about the TC levels, basically. That's why uh, Farsi, Farsi tend to be low level. La bonne barbe hipster. Oh. Just une barbe? It's just a bomb. Francis is gonna try to stock. Maybe buy a scholar feeling, but I maybe he didn't have money. I don't think yeah, he has money. No invo laser because Todd bought the one. And we have another fight. 62 for Todd against 53. Focus on the TC. Might surround him, and he does. Well done, even though one spellbreaker got hidden. It is not gonna be enough to save the TC. That's a big loss, and that might be game here. Very strong game by Todd. He okay, lost uh, two heroes, but overall, losing heroes doesn't mean lose the game because if you manage to do more damage than your opponent, A player's pretty good. Are under attack. No blacksmith, no supply block, and GG is called 2 0 by Todd. Convincing best of three by him. Guys, I got a, I got, I just got some news. Uh, I've just been told, I've, I've been told that I can remove delay, so I'm gonna wait uh, 90 seconds, which is yeah soon. I, mean, I need for, I need to wait the, for the game to be over before restarting the stream. Otherwise, that would be kind of rude for you guys. Todd was saying he never said GG this morning, so rude this man? I don't think it's rude. <coughs> I don't think saying GG is as big of a deal that people make, even though I personally always say GG because it's just... Um, kind of fair play or... Uh, yeah. But I, I don't give much importance to people saying it or not. I have to open my stream to know when I can actually uh, restart. It should be soon. It's gonna be 2v2 now, by the way. So far, so good. But the 2v2 might be the most tricky match of the clan war, so we're gonna watch out for this one. Actually, what I'm saying, you're probably not gonna hear it because I'm gonna restart the stream. 